because I famously keep shoes and clothes forever, someone recently asked me about my oldest pair of shoes. And I decided the rules for that should be a pair of shoes that I bought new in a store personally because I do have some of my mother's shoes from the 1980s. So this is my oldest pair that I personally purchased um, in the original box, um, which is by Patrick Cox, who in the mid 90s became very famous for his wannabe loafers, which kind of had a chunky stacked heel and they came in every color of the rainbow and all kinds of different leathers, so they were a collectible item. You had to get multiple multiple versions of it. And I had those, but I wore them to death. Um, but here's a different shoe that he did that I've kept all these years, so maybe since 95 or something. So it's a Mary Jane with stripes. It was the first wedge shoe that I ever got. And um, I'm pretty sure it was on sale. The box says, say, $320, and that would have been crazy for me to spend at the time. So I think I actually got it for half price. I remember I was in New Jersey with my mother because then New Jersey didn't have um, tax on clothes and, and shoes. So we would go to New Jersey and do a little shopping. And I guess it had a lot of influence on me because I seem to have acquired a few pairs of striped ones since then. Um, so these I got, um, they're by Dolce & Gabbana, I got them in 2015, uh, also while I was out shopping with my mother, and um, I'm sure I paid more for them than I did for the Patrick Cox back in the day. But that's not even my only pair of straight shoes. I also have these wedges, which have an interesting history, because they were given to me by my friend, the shoe designer, English shoe designer, Terry de Havilland, and he gave them to me in 2012, probably, and they were made in 2004, and they were based off an original 19, early 1970s design. So we span the 70s, the early 2000s, and recent times with these shoes. So that might be more striped wedges than most people have, and we can attribute that to Patrick Cox. And I wish I did have those wannabe loafers still. And I did mention that I got some shoes from my mother, and this is one pair of them, of these studded boots. She got, <laughs> I have worn these. She got, um, she got a few pairs of studded shoes, I think all in Vegas. And someone teased her for them, and she stopped wearing them, so they kind of came to me in pretty good shape. And uh, these need their heels done, though. Damn. Like, it's just nothing but nail. Um, so I take that back. They did not come to me in good shape at all. What did you do to these, Mom? Um, you said you didn't wear them. Um, but So these are probably my technically oldest, but they came to use so Patrick Cox was very influential, and... Um, and that shoe I just had to keep. Click the links below this video to see how I've styled all these crazy shoes and actually worn them out in public. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss my next video.